and figure it out, but I, I don't, it's not working now. So it's not going to happen again. We're going to have to have a real, true, real Housewives of Atlanta pause. Atlanta is back now and we have Portia and we have Kenya and everyone else is gone except for Drew. And that pause lasted forever. And they didn't do that with Jersey. And in part, if you really want to break it down, in part, it was because Atlanta was broken. Potomac is off the rails. Potomac self-corrected itself with Candace and Robin and NECA. But New Jersey was highly rated. Now it is not. Now it is, it is, it is better than a lot of other shows. But now we have a problem. So I think, I truly think that we are going to have a real, true New Jersey pause this time to figure it out. Look, if it figures itself out quickly, we're going to start filming quickly, right? That's not the issue. It's that in Atlanta, we kept interviewing girls and women and we couldn't figure it out. Even with Portia back, we still couldn't figure it out. I don't know if this is going to be so easy to figure out. I think... It's going to be a real New Jersey pause. These other people that are popping up, Tiffany and Brittany, whatever the hell their names are, these three girls that are not getting any airtime. I mean, it's not going to be them. I think we have a real change coming. I think people like Margaret are smart. She knows it. I hate to break it to everyone that it hates Melissa. I don't know if Melissa and Joe are going to go. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean... How do you have Melissa back, though, without speaking to Teresa? I mean, that's, I guess, what it is. I mean, is Teresa going to risk her two two $2.5 million? I mean, she seems to have this year, and it's here, here we are. I, I don't know. But I, I don't think, how can we have Melissa and Teresa without them speaking to each other? Like, I just don't know. I don't know if enough time will have passed that they could at least say hello. I mean, it, it's it's not not working. It's not not working. Like, they're in the same room and they don't speak. It's not really that awkward, but I just don't think it's sustainable. I don't think, I mean, Andy says it's not, Melissa says it's not, Margaret says it's not. So I don't know, but I... Don't think they would ever choose Melissa and Joe over Teresa. I'm sorry, guys. I got to be honest. It's just not going to happen. It really is Teresa's show. So somehow they're going to have to figure this out. I mean, Rachel and John, I think, are very protected. I guess I should say Rachel because I keep forgetting John is not a housewife. But I don't know where we go from here. I really don't. I know you guys have all sorts of theories and Pop off in the comments. Give me your thoughts and where we go from here. But just realistically, I, Teresa being gone is not really an option. And so we have a problem. I don't know how we move forward. I mean, it's different in Atlanta. We have Kenya and Portia and they like each other, don't like each other. They seem to be getting along. They'll do what they have to for the job. It's not that deep. And now we have Drew with the story and all the Drews. That, Drew's really the linchpin to the whole damn thing because she's the go-between between, between the OGs, so to speak, and this new set of girls and her age is in between. I don't know what we do in New Jersey. I don't know how we fix this. I don't think a total... Yes, I agree when people say we should have a total reboot and just give Teresa her own damn spinoff. The network's not parting ways with Teresa Giudice. But I don't know if that's going to work either. We're going to have R-H-O-N-J... Without Teresa? Maybe, maybe, maybe. And then we have a whole new show with Teresa and Louie and little Louie and the girls. And maybe, maybe that is the answer. Stranger things have happened. It'll be a big call by Andy. Teresa will have to be talked off a ledge. Teresa will make less money because, you know, Jax does not make the same for the Valley that he made on Vanderpump Rules. But if Teresa were making less money and Louie was getting a paycheck and little Louie was getting a paycheck and Gia was getting a paycheck and all the girls, then Teresa could make less money because at the end of the day, 
overall, the family was probably making the same amount of money that Teresa herself was making. And then Teresa could say, you know, contribute to your own college, girl. You just made 50 grand or whatever it is. Maybe that would work and we would have a whole rebranding. We would have mob style, angry Jersey music and tables flipping and things crashing. And they would show so many scenes from the original New Jersey. And we would say, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. I don't know. Maybe Gia will be the legacy housewife next season. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we're ready to revamp the whole damn franchise without Teresa just yet. But that is where we might have gotten this franchise. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's not going to be the majority of people that are there now. You guys are bored. I'm bored. We're all bored. You know, speaking of which, I just want to say one thing. Jen Fessler did give an interview recently, like very recently, where she said that she doesn't, she believes that Louis looked called Margaret's son. So she wants to put it out there. She actually believes that that happened. She is shocked that Teresa is still swearing on a daughter's life. That he didn't do it because Fessler is convinced he did do it. But I thought it was also interesting. She said that she made a comment and basically she said to Margaret, if you don't want to hang out with these people anymore, either do I. And she was referring to like, if Margaret doesn't come back for this season, I wouldn't have come back. Well, Margaret came back. Margaret will always come back if the paycheck is there. I just wonder if she stands by this after this season. After this season, when your girl Margaret is not asked back, are you going to come back if they ask you, Fessler? Like, do you really mean that? I mean, if she were a good friend, Margaret would say, go ahead and go back. I don't know. This is where my mind is. I can't get over all of this. I can't get over all of this. Something has to change. I'm bored. Do I sound bored? Because I don't want to sound bored to you guys. I wish there was something more to break down this week. There's not. I am going to let in our guest. Let's have some fun. I will be here, guys. So let's just talk about where we are. That was episode four. We have 13 minus four is nine plus, I guess, three of the reunion. If we don't have three reunion parts, we're really in trouble, guys. I think we might have a two-part reunion. But if we have three, that's nine more. 13 minus four is nine plus three. We have 12 more weeks of this, which... 12 more weeks is still three fucking months, guys. I mean, what is that? June, July, August? Oh my God. All right. So by the fall, we'll be over New Jersey. We could talk about how great the Valley is and what is that going to bring for the second season. And, you know, let's talk about Jax's new girlfriend. Let's bring in our guest. I really want to hear your guys' thoughts. I don't want to, I'm really trying to live in the moment, not prepare for the future and, and talk about what's going to happen next season when we're four episodes in, but I can't help myself because this episode was fucking boring. I was bored. I was actually bored this week. I'm sorry. I wish there was something more to say. Let's bring in our special guest. Here she is. Hold on. She's